Hi, in this video, we're going to go through how to send an invitation to your customers so that they can create login details for the customer portal. Before we start, you will need to activate the customer portal for your account, and we do have a separate video guide on how to do this. So I'll pop a link in uh, to that video in the description below for you. Now, one of the big things in regards to sending the invitation out to a customer is to make sure that the customer profile actually has an email address because the email address will actually be used uh, as their username for the customer portal to log in. Uh, so what will happen is if you go and try to send an invitation out to a customer that does not have an email address, in this instance, we have an example for Aaron Les. Lesk and he doesn't have an email address um, in the um, in his profile. If I go and send the invitation out, you'll get an e uh, an error message saying that please specify a valid email for the customer before continuing. So the system will let you know what's wrong um, as to why you can't send that invite out. Now we're going to go through to a customer that does have an email address uh, and also has a mobile phone, and I'll show you the. Um, link that they get in order to set up their login details to the customer portal. So to send out the invitation to your customer first, all you need to do is open up the customer profile in workshop software and click on the star icon located in the top right hand corner. And you will now see that there's an action to send a customer portal invitation. So you just need to click on that and you'll have the option to whether to send this invitation by email or whether you want to send it by SMS. And we'll do both so that I can show you um, what it looks like for the customer, um, regardless of which method you decide to send it by. Alrighty. Now, if we pop into Aaron's emails, uh, that's all you need to do. Uh, for Aaron, he will have this email in his account um, and it will say basically to view your account with Workshop Software Garage. In this instance, uh, you will have your business name in here. They just click on this um, and the, all they need to do is click on this first link to actually set up the login details. And then once they've uh, used that link to set up the, uh, the login details, they'll be able to use this shortened link here to then log in at any time. This is already pre-populated for you, so you don't need to worry about uh, the wording of it. That's automatically going to go out as soon as you click that send invitation button. So if the customer clicks on this link, they'll be taken to the portal page where they will need to set up their password. So remember their email address is the username that uh, for their login once they've set up their password. Now I'm gonna go and bring up uh, my phone app, uh, so the messages so that you can see what the customer will see when they get the invitation via SMS. Okay, so here's my phone and we've got a message. Um, to view. Um, you can see here at the bottom here, the most recent one at the bottom is sign in to view your account history with the workshop software garage. And again, all they need to do is click on that link and it will open up a web browser for them uh, with the same uh, pages we saw before from a computer, whereby all they need to do is enter in their, create their password um, and that will have finalized the login details to the customer portal. That's all you need to do to send out a invitation to your customer to create login details for the customer portal in workshop software. If you have any questions or if there's any comments, please feel free to pop them below and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you.